If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. To view your employees list, click Payroll in the navigation bar, and then click the Employees tab at the top of the page to open the Employees page. Alternatively, hover over the Payroll link in the navigation bar, and then roll over and click the Employees link in the side menu that appears to open the same page. If you haven't set up your payroll yet and have a QuickBooks Payroll subscription, then click the Get Started button to set up payroll and add employees. You'll then be directed to the Overview page of the Payroll Pages, where you can then click the Get Started button to set up payroll before adding your employees. You can also add employees as part of the initial payroll setup if desired. Alternatively, to add employees for time tracking without a payroll plan, click the Add an Employee link instead, and then enter the employee's information to record in the window that opens. After setting up payroll, you can then return to the Employees page and then click the Add an Employee button in the upper right corner of the Employees list to open an Add Employee window. If adding an employee before running a payroll, then this window is divided into eight sections. Alternatively, if adding an employee after running payroll, then it is divided into three tabs named Pay, Profile, and Employment. In both windows, required information is noted by an asterisk or yellow exclamation mark. Make sure to enter all information for the new record depending on when you are creating the record. As noted, this information can appear in different places in this window depending on if you have run payroll. Enter the employee's name into the first name, middle initial, and last name fields. To email the employee so they can view W-2 information and pay stubs with QuickBooks Workforce, enter their email into the email field. Optionally, to also set up the user as a time tracking only user so they can enter their work hours in QuickBooks Time, check the Invite this employee to track and record their hours with QuickBooks Time checkbox. Then enter the employee's hired date by using the Hire Date Calendar dropdown. Then select their work location from the Work Location drop-down, which may be on the Employment tab for workers added after a payroll has been run. Next, select or create the pay schedule for the employee. Then select the employee's type of wages and enter the related hourly or salary information in the adjacent field or fields that appear. Optionally, for hourly and salary pay types, also enter the default hours per day and days per week they work in the next line of fields. If you want to add additional pay types like sick or vacation right now, you can click the Add Additional Pay Types like Overtime and Sick Pay link to set those up and then return here to enter their information. Then enter any deductions for the employee like retirement plans, garnishments, or health care. 
To add a new deduction, click the Add Deductions link to open a page where you can set up the deduction and then return to this page to enter its information for this employee. Next, enter the employee's withholdings by clicking the Enter W-4 Form link to open a new window where you can enter the employee's W-4 form information and state taxes, local taxes, and any tax exemptions. When finished, click the Done button in the lower right corner of the window to save the window, close it, and return back to the Add Employee window. Then enter the employee's birth date into the birth date field. Then select how to issue the employee's pay from the drop-down. Note that if you select one of the direct deposit methods, then enter the employee's account information into the adjacent fields. When finished, click the Done button at the bottom of the screen. If you don't completely fill out the employee's information, you will see a warning message that you must complete the employee's info before you can pay them. To return to enter it immediately, click the Enter It Now button. To complete their setup later, click the Finish This Later button instead. After adding employees and running a payroll, a graph showing your annual payroll cost appears at the top of the page. You can expand or collapse this section using the small arrow in the lower right corner of this section. Below this information is the employees list. In the upper left corner is the Find an Employee field. To find an employee in the employees list, type their name into the Find an Employee field which filters the list entries as you type. You can delete your entry from this field to show all employees again. The drop-down to the right of the Find an Employee field filters the employees list to show active, inactive, or all employees. To sort the employees list, click any column heading to sort by that data. Each time you click the same column heading, it switches the sort order from ascending to descending order. To later invite employees to use QuickBooks Workforce to view pay stubs and W-2 information, if you didn't do that as part of their setup, click the Invite to Workforce button towards the upper right corner above the employee list to open a pane at the right side of the screen. In this pane, check the checkbox next to the names of the employees to invite, enter their emails into the adjacent fields, and then click the Send Invitations button at the bottom of the pane to send the invitations. You can click the X button in the upper right corner of this pane to close it if you choose to not send invitations. To edit an existing employee before you issue a paycheck to them, click their name in the Employee list to reopen the Add Employee window. Then edit the employee's information and click the Done button in the lower right corner of the window to save it. Alternatively, to delete an employee before running payroll, click the Delete Employee link at the bottom of the Add Employee window to open a pop-up box that asks if you want to delete this employee. Click Yes to delete this employee's information if desired. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.